Hi, I'm Dave, and today Joel and I have put together the solution to the J-Option Pain exercise that we gave in the last video. Now, so far we've had three videos. We started off with talking about basic Oracle Sun Java co coding conventions that have been around since 1999. We then went on to show how we could set up our preferences in Eclipse to help us comply with the Oracle Sun Java coding conventions and also set up some practices or standards so that everybody that develops in the team will have code that looks similar. That will make it a lot easier for us to interchange and work together on code. We then went on to talk about J-Option Pane. And in the beginning of this Java 2 class, we're going to use J-Option Pane as the focus or the main means of getting user input and displaying user output. We're doing this instead of using the scanner class as it's more interesting to interact with the GUI than the console window. Now at the end of that J option video, I left you with an exercise. And the exercise was based on the Gmail login. If you go to gmail.com, you'll be prompted for a username and password. We're going to mimic that except using J option pane. And I asked you to create a J option pane with the show input dialog to bring up a prompt for a username and we entered Joel. We clicked OK. We then were prompted for a password. Entered Hollingsworth. We said OK. And we then displayed the username and password using J option pane to show message dialog. So let's go into Eclipse, create a workspace, we'll call it homework. We're going to set the perspective to be the Java perspective. We'll load our preferences that we did a couple of videos back. We're then going to create an Eclipse project, Google. We're going to create a class called User Login. And that class is going to exist in a Java package called edu.elon.login. And lastly, we're going to create a very short main Java class just to be a driver for our program. Okay, so let's bring up Eclipse. And the first thing we said we were going to do was to create a workspace. And we're going to create a workspace called Homework. Okay, so here's Eclipse. Let me center it. And it came up in the Java EE perspective, so we're going to change it to the Java perspective. That's been changed. I'll clean up a few windows. I then want to load my preferences. So File, Import, Open Up General, click on Preferences. Next. My preference file I stored on my desktop. And my preference file was called Elon University Preferences. I'll load that, click finish. Now my preferences are set. I want to create a Google project now, a Google job, excuse me, a Java project. So file, new Java project. And I'm going to give it the name Google. It's going to be part, it's going to use Java 7. Click next. It's going to put all the source code, the Java source code, under a folder called SRC. And it's going to put all of the byte code under a folder called Classes. That's perfect. I like that. So I'm going to click Finish. And here's my Google project. And there's my source folder where all the Java files are going to be stored under. The next step is going to be to create my user login class. So new class. My class is going to be called user login and I'm going to want it to be in the package edu.elon.login. Come down below it says do I want to generate comments. I'm going to say yes and that's going to automatically fill in the copyright header that we created before in our Eclipse preferences. I click finish and here's our user login class. Here's our copyright statement, the file name, version, the date, 
in the copyright for myself. Of course, you'll probably see your name there or should see your name there. And wherever you, you are coming from, for our class, it would be Elon University. We see the package statement automatically put in for us. And then here's our class, user login. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create two private variables. Right, so private. One variable is going to hold username. And the other variable is going to hold password. I'm going to create a default constructor because it's the best practice. And all that default constructor is going to do is to set username and password to unknown. That was simple enough. Now I'm going to create the, the main login method. And I'm going to create some stub methods that it's going to call, and we'll fill those in in a minute. So public void, let's call it login. And login is going to get the username by calling a method that we haven't yet written, but it'll be called proper username. And I'm going to have password get set by a method logically called prompt for password. And then I'm going to wrap things up by displaying with the J option pane the username and password and I'll do that with the method called display user. Now Eclipse is not happy. It's telling me that I have not written three methods yet. Prompt for username, prompt for password, or display user. But the nice thing is Eclipse will help us generate the stubs for these methods. So I mouse over prompt for username and it's suggesting to me that a quick fix would be to create method prompt for username. I will click on this and it will automatically generate it for me. So now I would generate the stub prompt for username. Let me provide the code to implement prompt for username. I don't have a string message. And that will be the actual prompt username that we expect to see. And let's have a title. And the title we said was going to be sign in, according to the specification. And then I'm going to set username to be equal to the value returned by J option pane. I'm going to show input dialog, and I want to use the for argument version. So I'm going to give it null to center itself on the screen. I'm going to give it the message that we provided, the title, and I want to ask for a question, J option pane question message to be displayed. Now I went past 80 columns. You can see the 80 column mark here. So I'm going to hit Control A to select everything. And then I'm going to hit Control Shift F to automatically format the code. Notice how it shifted things around. We're now definitely within the 80 character vertical line that you see placed here. So now we have two methods unknown. Proper password and display user. I'm going to just, oh I forgot to put down return username here. Let me fix that. Now I'm just going to copy this prompt for username method, paste it, and rename it to be prompt for password. So I right click copy, paste, and let me change username to password. Yeah, that was easy enough. So now Eclipse is only unhappy because I haven't provided display user yet. So quick fix will create it for me. Here's my stuff for display user. Now display user was going to display a message. And that message was that we had user. We then had a bracket. 
use it game equals so we'll concatenate the value that's currently stored in our username we then we then added on to it a comma password equals and let's give it the password and then we finish it off with a bracket The, the title was Registration Complete. Yeah, that looks good. So now we're going to create our J option pane. And this time instead of a show input dialog, we're going to do a show message dialog. And we'll use the four argument version again. Null to send it on the screen. Message, that's our prompt. Put our title in. And this time, we decided we wanted to use an informational icon instead of a question. So there's information message. Again, I'm past column 80. So I'll hit Control A, Control Shift F, and my display method's complete. So now I just need a main method, create a main method as a driver stub to call, to instantiate, and then call our login method. So let me right click on the package and say new class. The package comes already filled in as edu.elon.login. I'll call this main. And down below here it says which method stubs would you like to create? I want a main method automatically generated and I want to ask for comments again. I click finish. We see that I get the main.java file with a nice copyright header. Here's my package statement. I'm in edu.elon.login. Here's my main method. And here's the main, excuse me, main class. And here's my main method. So I need to do two things here. First thing is I need to create an instance of user login and put it into a local variable to hold. So user login. I'll just call it app and I'll set it into set it equal to an instance of login. I then need to call on this instance the login method. That'll invoke our logic. And then I'm just going to quit. So system.exit, zero means successful exit, and I'm done with the main method. Now notice how these asterisks are in front of the tabs here. The asterisk means that I haven't saved things yet. So I'll save all. I'm now ready to run. So I'll click on my main.java. I'll right click, run as Java application. And here's my sign in screen. So I'm going to sign in my username, Joel. Hit OK. Prompted for my password, Hollingsworth. Click OK, and I'm then told registration is complete. So that was that was pretty simple. So wrapping up, we created a workspace. We set the perspective to a Java perspective. We loaded up preferences, created a Google project. We created a user login class in the package edu.elon.login, and then we created a short main driver program. If you have any questions, please put them here on YouTube and we'll respond to those. Or you could either email you could email those to Joel or I and I'll add those email addresses here. Have a great day.